Hello, Lolos. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, so today I am here with Ziggy, and Ziggy is my forever, ever, 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 ever baby. <laughs> he is my forever baby. Um, I know we say forever, and it doesn't mean nothing in this doll world because nothing is forever, period. But I'm calling him my forever for now, okay? Um, I am going to get him dressed. Um, let's talk about Ziggy just a little bit because I know some of you guys like, oh my gosh, she have to say that every video, but there's people that may have not been to my channel or seen my videos and I need to dust his eyes. Poor baby. It's okay. Um, but he is a full body silicone baby. He is painted by me. He is not rooted yet. Um, he is sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscotti from Silicone Studio, the number two dot com. <laughs> um, he has a jelly belly. Um, I always forget. Like the his jelly belly is. So it's a nice squish. Um, some are softer than that and some not. So, he, But it is soft and it allows him to not be hard in his core. Um, what else? Oh, he has armatures. He has full armatures in his arms. He does not have them in his legs. Um, and he's a boy and he's anatomically correct. And I'm going to get him dressed. I think, should I switch your hat out first? Let's take this stuff off the hanger first. So I'm going to try him in the color green. I should get my scissors instead of popping tags like that. I'm trying to get better at doing that so that I don't... So that I don't, you know, snag the clothes. And with the silicone babies and with your vinyl, your dolls, period, I think I, I need to get used to not just saying silicone babies, just saying your dolls, because a lot of people seem to think that silicone babies is so high maintenance and so high, you know, just so much you have to do with them. But honestly, I do the same things with my vinyl, um, popping the tags off. And making sure you remove the, the pieces on the tags so that they don't possibly scratch the paint or stick into like the silicone um, or vinyl is important. I try to make sure I remove them because you know, once you take, you cut them, they still leave this, like it'll still be stuck in there. So I like to. Make sure I move that out. Because even with us as human beings, you ever had a little piece of tag sticking to you and you can't figure out what's, what is that something pressing against me or something in a shirt? I'm not going to put him on the short sleeve, so I'm going to put him on the long sleeve because I like him in long sleeves. And his little joggers. I actually didn't buy this because it was Nike. I bought it because... I like the color and it was newborn and it's hard to find newborn stuff. So, I think I'm going to put him on, I think I'm going to switch his hat out first. So, I'm going to turn him this way <laughs> so that I can get his hat off. And you guys are going to see he is bald, like I said, <laughs> except for some little edges up at the top what I do. And I'm going to put him on this little hat. This hat does not go with the outfit, obviously. But it's as close as I can get because the green color hats that I had did not match, okay? So I was like, ah, you know? All right. So I'm going to take your shirt off first. And a lot of people do 
their babies different as far as how they get them dressed and how they, you know, some people like to put uh, hand mitts on when they're changing their babies. Some people like to put plastic bags and stuff. I always find that so hilarious when I see people wrapping their dolls up with plastic. I'll be like, it's actually kind of cringy to watch for me, but I get it. That's, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> we in this community, we adopt what a lot of stuff of what we see and people, you know, they go with it, they run with it and everybody does it. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay, you know, that's their thing. They feel comfortable. It makes them enjoy their babies. You know, let them have that. That ain't my business. It's not my doll. And if that's what they want to do, then it's not my place to say anything. I I don't do that. It's just like uh, the whole putting the plastic on the baby's head when you're shipping it and all that stuff. I don't do that either. Um, but it's like you know, I'm always like in a panic too when I get the baby and it has the plastic over the over the face. I'm like, I feel like the baby is in a body bag. I can't breathe. I'm like, hurry up, get the baby out, get the baby out the plastic. Like, like I want to poke a hole in it, and, and the baby's not gonna breathe either way because it's not real. But in my head, I'm just like, ah. One time I got a, a full body silicone baby and it was in this bag thing the zip up bag and I thought it was a cute idea to send the babies and be the baby be protected and all that and stuff but when I got the baby and I started and the baby was in that bag and when it actually came to me I don't know why it just felt like I was taking the baby zipping the body down from the morgue I know this video is kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> but it did. It felt like, you know how when you watch those crime movies and they got to identify the body and they zip down that body bag? I'm like, oh, crap. Like, this, it was not, it was not given what it was supposed to give in that moment. I was like, okay, maybe, just maybe that's not a good idea. Um, but it was, maybe because it was like, I think the bag was, like a dark color bag and it was it was a zip down bag it was just the way that the <laughs> the whole idea of it I guess I don't know but I've gotten babies in like the plastic bags um uh, you know the really like baby shower type bags and I loved it I loved it um so you know different strokes for different folks you know um it's just like you know I was talking one of uh, the ladies that bought one of my babies and the baby had the baby powder scent and most mommies love when they open up a baby and they smell very baby and it smells good when I walk into my closet in my baby closet in the nursery oh my gosh you just smell new baby that's what it smelled like and I love it but um I forget some mommies have allergies or you know sensitive to um, fragrance and so not everybody's gonna like it so it's kind of hard in this community like you know getting everything right for everybody I think it's impossible so but yeah oh my goodness <laughs> oh, I like you in this green I wish your hair was done so you didn't have to wear that I can take his hat his hem it's off but I like I like him with ham is. <clears throat> I feel like he's more baby when he has his ham mitts on, but he doesn't have to have them on. There's nothing wrong with his hands. I just like them. And I love his armatures. Um one thing I have to say is that so far my favorite uh armatures have been done by Silicone Studio. Um Kathy and Jennifer, I love the way they do their armatures. Um, I have armatures in other babies, but I really love their armatures. So every, and that's the thing, like, so, like, Kellen is very soft. I love how his softness is and stuff. 
he his armatures are nice but I love Ziggy armatures better like I feel like I have more posability I feel like they do more I I just I love them so I feel like every baby have their different things and their different strong points and so when when you see a video of me talking about what I like and what I love the most it's not that I'm putting down the next person work or saying oh my god this is the best this is better than it's saying this is what I like more this is you know my my preference this is if I if I had any say this is what I would choose over this or that maybe and not even that I'm just appreciating that particular doll in that particular moment honestly um, and sometimes I feel like my words come across as if I'm you know to some people who feel like I'm you know put promoting someone over somebody else or something like that I get zero kickbacks from um, my personal collection I get zero kickbacks from <laughs> A lot of the dolls that I buy as far as they're not a prototype they're not being promoted um, for the most part I actually just like to share my thoughts it's what I've been doing the entire time I've been collecting so it's just what I do so please don't take me too serious <coughs> sorry guys I just got to eat some almonds and I didn't drink water behind it. I just ran and said, oh, let me do a video. And right now, all of a sudden, that water in the bottle, baby bottle over there, is looking real good. I'm tempted to go suck the baby bottle. Okay, but I want. Don't worry. I won't do that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I just thought I would show him. He is the Billy Sculpt. I think I told you guys that from Kathy Romero Biscotti. Um, I might have didn't say the Sculpt name, actually. Um, and he's painted by me and eventually he will be rooted by me and I don't know why all of a sudden he got out of focus okay there we go so he is definitely a favorite of mine I love this sculpt so much guys I I can't say it enough I actually got my third full body the first one was a prototype I sold that one the second one was this Billy and um, a third one I'm gonna do a gender reveal I have that one um, that one has different features in it as well because I didn't want one to compete against the other so because I said I would keep this one forever so I wanted to get something different that I would be able to keep so um once that one is painted I will share and I will do a gender reveal on that one but I really love the sculpt the other um version of Billy is I did the bit Billy cuddle um with hands and feet but I used another sculptor's hands and feet and because the hands and feet hadn't been sculpted yet on this one and I um that one was called Ducky and I feel like so far they all have looked very much different but I think that my Ziggy has a lot of similarities to Ducky as far as the paint style in the face um not skin tone but face wise and so he's special because he has the, the baby acne and all that stuff going on and the cuddle was like that so anyway I just like I said I thought I would share share him um he is definitely a special baby for me I don't show him as much because again he's not rooted so I don't change I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't change my babies as much when they're not um, rooted because I get frustrated after a time and I'm just like I want them to have hair let me see what he looks like on his back you know, you know I do this little pose um, I love that his head turns easily from side to side 
some of these babies now this is a thing where people i feel find that people mess up with their babies and they make mistakes or they end up you know damaging them is when we're posing them and trying to force them in position he don't go in the other type of booted up position as easy um and i don't force it um He's like, if you see, and I can turn him to where he's even more so not into the pillow, but he is, it is a deep, a dent in this. It's not straight on. So that would be him. And like I said, I, I try my hardest not to force my babies in positions. Um, again, he turns very easily to either side and I love that. So, this baby is not a marshmallow blend, but it's soft enough to my liking to where I love, I love him. I love, I love the, um, I feel like I could get some of my best results out of silicone studio pour because of how they actually pour another person that i actually liked pour but i only painted one of theirs and i really liked the the weight the color the, of the pour and everything was jennifer costello i i really liked her pour too and the color um the texture on some of the baby silicone is different very different which is interesting um and it all that stuff matter and it changes the results of the baby so you know i tend to work with the same uh sculpts and stuff because i, I am you know a sculptors i should say because i'm familiar with their pour with silicone silicone was never something that i intended to do a lot of i'm only painting more silicone right now because i can't root and i don't have a full time a person that works full time that will just root back to back for me so that changes everything for me and I kind of got forced into painting more silicone if I want to survive <laughs> so but otherwise I would just paint silicone for myself because it's such a tricky medium and you know a lot of collectors are switching over from vinyl to silicone and they don't understand everything about silicone and they expect it to be as perfect as vinyl and it can be to a certain extent but there's going to be certain nuances that is kind of almost like common and you know I don't sometimes because I've been collecting for a while and I've been around silicone for a while some of the little nuances I don't feel like it's something that needs to be like super highlighted because it's kind of common, even with some of the biggest brand names, it it happens. And so, but yes, there's a difference in between actually defective, flawed, and imperfections. Um, all those are, are, are totally different levels. And maybe one day I'll do a video on that, but maybe that'll be a video for a chatterbox where I'll kind of talk about that uh the difference between what is considered to be a flaw what i consider to be an imperfection versus what i can consider to be defective and what should be i consider should be labeled as a boo-boo baby and i need to dust um this crib got dust on it crap anyway um i'm gonna go because now i see dust and i'm it's <clears throat> probably why i coughed maybe <laughs> It's not over the whole crib, but I'm like looking at the back of the crib and because the crib is actually like a black color, I can like see some dust. So I'm going to dust. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you enjoyed the video and he is going back to sleep. So I'm not going to wake him and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.